here we have a selection of archery equipment from, from long bows to arrows. Archery in Ireland has got kind of, kind of a strange history because the archaeologists have found evidence for archery from the Mesolithic, lots of it in the Neolithic, quite a lot in the Bronze Age, and then suddenly you seem to disappear from the record. So in the Iron Age, the Pagan Iron Age, and the early Christian period, it just seems to vanish altogether. And it doesn't come back to Ireland until the Vikings bring it back. The Irish were very adept at using missiles like javelins and darts. Some were quite small, very powerful weapons at short range and medium range. For some reason, that was enough for the Irish. We didn't need to go for a more long range weapon like, like a longbow. There's probably several reasons for that. I think they didn't use the, the, the longbow back then it was because it was obsolete with the type of small scale warfare that they had back then. One of the most striking and common arrowheads was called a bodkin point. It was like a needle point, and there's one here right there. There are examples in the museum here in Watford when the Anglo-Normans came to town that were even longer than that. And these are designed to punch through armour. And the typical sort of armour that, that they might have had back then is hanging up here behind me. So the Irish might have worn something like this. It's a linen gambeson. It's layers and layers of linen and wool packed tightly together. It's quite good at absorbing blows, but this particular arrowhead was designed to punch through that. All fabric was made by the hand drop spindle. And they spun animal fibers, wool, and uh, flax for linen. I've heard that it takes 12 women six months of spinning to make enough for one ship's sail. 